Hello students, I am Dr. Tanama Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is Lithium Extraction Chemistry. Lithium is widely used in Lithium and Battery. Before going to details, one MCQ. Which of the hydroxide is weakest hydroxide? Four options are provided. I request you please pause the video and write your answer in the comment box. And definitely at the end of the discussion, you will get the right answer. So, where the lithium resides in the periodic table? It resides in the extreme left, that is group 1. It's a, it, is an, it is the lightest metal in the periodic table and it belongs to the group 1 metal category. And so consequently, question is can I get free lithium in nature? Obviously no, because these group 1 metals are extremely reducing and they prefer to remain in plus 1 oxidation state. So lithium also remain in the plus 1 oxidation state. Now, what are the sources of lithium? The main three sources are brine, more specifically if we say underground brine deposits, Another is spodumen which is actually lithium, aluminium, silicate derivative and this is actually the ore of lithium and another is third is seawater. Let us learn stepwise. What is brine? Brine is actually uh, the solution of the salt which is extracted from the reservoir that are located beneath the salt flask which are known as salars. Most of which are located in uh, this South America and China and remember there is a term lithium triangle means the common zone between Bolivia, Argentina and Chile. In that zone the largest proven reserve of lithium is found. These lithium brines are typically straightforward but uh, this lithium brine recovery is typically straightforward but lengthy process and for that purpose actually several months to few years needed to get the lithium. So this is one of the disadvantage also and in this case what happened the brine is pumped out to the surface and distributed over evaporation front and from there its extraction start and these extractions are associated with steps like pretreatment which is associated with filtration and ion exchange, chemical treatment where reagent are utilized to exchange ion exchange those type of reaction happens and finally filtration. So after reactions if some precipitates or insoluble materials are produced they are separated using filtration and finally is the lithium production because after filtration it produces the lithium carbonate and that lithium carbonate is separated and converted into other lithium sources like lithium hydroxide, lithium chloride etc. Now if we look at stepwise this brine to lithium extraction, first this brine is pumped out from the underground and let it allowed for solar evaporation and pre-treatment which enrich the salt concentration into the solution. Later on its impurity are removed. First boric acid uh, boron is removed in the form of boric acid by treatment of the brine with isopropyl alcohol which produces ester and ultimately using heating these esters are removed. Later on this magnesium and calcium both are precipitated out by addition of lime to that solution. So in this way we have removed three components. Later on what is there? Right now they are group 1 metals like sodium, potassium and lithium. So from that thing lithium means in this way we can say lithium concentration is relatively enriched and from that solution how lithium is extracted by addition of sodium carbonate solution. This is because through ion exchange lithium chloride is converted into lithium carbonate and lithium carbonate is insoluble so it get precipitated out. Now this lithium carbonate is relatively impure and it cannot be used in battery application. Consequently what is done? This lithium carbonate is separated and along with this lithium carbonate water carbon dioxide is pumped with high pressure. In presence of this high pressurized carbon dioxide, lithium carbonate is converted into lithium bicarbonate and it gets solubilized. Again, then there is the pressure of CO2 released means this pressure is withdrawn. Consequently, this lithium bicarbonate converted into relatively pure lithium carbonate which is eligible to use in battery application. And not only that, this from this pure lithium carbonate, lithium hydroxide and other lithium based chemical could also be produced. Now second method for lithium extraction is spodumen based method. In this case what happened? This spodumen is first treated with sulfuric acid. And what happens? This spodumen is actually lithium aluminium silicate. In terms of sulfuric acid, reaction happens and this lithium and aluminium are converted into their corresponding sulphate which are water soluble. but this silicate converted into silica solid and get separated out. Now from this aluminium and lithium ion mixture 
this aluminum is separated in the form of aluminum hydroxide which is actually a precipitate or insoluble material by the addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide. Now, after addition of sodium hydroxide, what remains in the medium? It remains in, in the medium there is lithium sulphate, sodium sulphate there. Now, sometime before we have learned that lithium carbonate salts are insoluble in water. So, that concept is utilized here, means sodium carbonate, solid sodium carbonate is added into the solution. Consequently, what is produced? This lithium sulphate, sodium carbonate anion exchange happen. So, it produces sodium sulphate which remain in the aqueous layer and this lithium carbonate is insoluble. So, it get precipitated out as a solid. Now, this lithium carbonate is further purified by treatment with HCl which releases this carbon dioxide. Now, remember this again in this step carbon dioxide is produced, but whenever carbon dioxide produced in any in industrial scale, it is better not to allow the carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere because excess CO2 present into the atmosphere is responsible for global warming and climate change. Now, later on what is done? This lithium carbonate reaction with HCl produces lithium chloride which is in the aqueous layer, aqueous solution. So, using heat the water is evaporated and this lithium chloride became remain as a solid. Then using heat it get in the liquid from means molten and electrolysis of molten lithium chloride produces lithium. And now what is the difference between brine based method versus spodumen based method? First of all spodumen has relatively higher percentage of lithium and this is the ore that is why it is preferred worldwide. Second this using a weak from a spodumen so you can get lithium, but if you look at those brine based method from months to years needed to evaporate the solution and ultimately get the lithium. And another thing if you look at the environmental impact, the environmental means consequences or impact is more in case of spodumen uh, sorry brine based method because huge amount of underground water are pumped out and second thing huge amount of land is utilized means in the desert zone to evaporate that water. So, that is not good. So, that is why this spodumen based methods are welcomed compared to brine. Now, why this lithium carbonate is insoluble in water? Because this chemistry is utilized to separate lithium because the electrostatic attraction between the lithium and carbonate is more that is why they do not get soluble in water because means in short if I say the lattice energy of lithium carbonate is higher compared to its solvation energy that is why it does not get soluble in aqueous medium. Now, another important chemical of lithium is lithium hydroxide and it is prepared by reaction of lithium carbonate with calcium hydroxide which produces lithium hydroxide and in this case the calcium produced calcium carbonate is actually insoluble. So, it precipitates out from the reaction medium. Here the lithium carbonate is pure, so lithium hydroxide is also pure. Now, this how this calcium carbonate are recycled because anything we can't throw when we produce in large scale. This calcium carbonate are recycled by heating and in this heating it produces calcium oxide and carbon dioxide and this cal calcium oxide for the treatment with water produces calcium hydroxide again and this could be reutilized. And as I told it is not good to release the CO2 into the atmosphere. Now, why the lithium hydroxide is important just we have learned about it. This is because it is used in huge amount in, in lithium ion battery cathode material that is lithium cobaltate or lithium lithium cobalt oxide or lithium iron phosphate. So, this is the main use of this lithium hydroxide and how this lithium battery are charged actually when you are charging this lithium ion from this lithium cobalt oxide or lithium iron phosphate goes from its layer to the graphite layer and stored there in this way it store energy. And when you want to discharge it if you connect the external circuit this lithium will come from this graphite layer to its original position and in outside circuit you will get electricity flow. So, this is the overall mechanism of this. Now, another important thing please remember there is lithium recovery from the batteries are essential because nowadays every electronic gadget using lithium ion battery. So, huge amount of lithiums are already there inside the battery and if we throw them it will create an environmental pollution second. We cannot produce huge amount of lithium based lithium ion based car because of the lack of lithium supply. So, if we recycle those lithium in the batteries means waste electronics that will be a boost for this EV market. So, 
that means the third option is actually the sea water to lithium actually this ocean our oceans have a huge amount of lithium res resources means 230 billion tons if you compare this with land base there is only a 14 million tons but the concentration of lithium is very low into the sea that's why till now it is not economically profitable but we expect that in future this technology will be improvised so the environmental impact will be less at that time now what is the current situation of lithium extraction worldwide in this case actually demand is very high but supply is inadequate that's why huge amount huge numbers of lithium ion battery car could not be produced and since the supply is inadequate its price is getting increased and consequently the price of battery car will also increase and it will demotivate the common people to purchase those electric vehicles and for our climate security we should replace those fossil fuel based car with electric vehicles this is important and please remember this environmental consequences during lithium extraction is very bad that's why people loves lithium but they don't like the mining of lithium in their own country so i shall discuss this thing in details in my another channel climate and chemistry you may visit where you will get some environmental impact related videos now let's come to our mcq which of the hydroxide is the weakest hydroxide actually the answer is lithium hydroxide the strength of hydroxide is determined by its ionization in water which produces this m plus and oh minus if you look at this lithium uh, hydroxide its ionization is least because the orbital overlap between lithium and oxygen is relatively more because both are second row element consequently its energy means consequently its uh, ionization lattice energy is relatively more so it doesn't get that much ionized like other hydroxide so this is the end of the discussion thanks for watching if you really enjoy my content then please help my channel to grow and if possible please visit my another channel climate and chemistry see you in my next video bye bye